Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to the SDL programming series. In this lesson, I'm just going to be talking about something very exciting coming to SDL and that's version three. So version three has been in the works for a little while and it's going to be a nice improvement on version two. So I just want to go ahead and talk about some of the things I learned at the recent game developer conference about SDL three. And of course, to let you know that this series as it continues on is going to start using some SDL three things. Now, some really cool things about SDL, I'm going to go ahead and pop into the SDL website here is they do focus a lot on stability. So everything that you've learned previously in this series will apply equally or otherwise there will be a reasonable migration. So that's a really nice thing and is probably a lesson to learn as far as uh, API design when building libraries of code that lots of people depend on. And it's a reason to like SDL. So as you'll notice here, the stable version is about 2.26. And since version 2.26, they have, and by they, I mean, open source contributors, folks at Valve, other folks uh, who contribute to the project, Ryan Gordon, and etc., um, have really focused on moving to the next generation API. Now, SDL, for those folks who don't know, is an API that's been around for quite some time in the game industry. And every 10 years or so, it makes a, a large leap from version one to two and now to version three. Uh, to offer a you know one and done windowing toolkit. And what I'm really excited about for SDL version three is it's going to add some really cool stuff like for instance, a GPU uh, API. So for folks who don't know that, that's very exciting news. I'm looking forward to covering it. And um, it's something they were very excited about the game developers conference and we can expect it to come around maybe summer 2023 or around that time to start seeing uh, some more information about it. So. You can go ahead to the SDL uh, GitHub page and you can keep track of some of the different uh, tickets that have been open to kind of see what's been uh, opened and closed. And again, we're starting to see a lot more exciting things, more asynchronous support, more thread safety, uh, these types of things that really just go hand in hand with some of the modern APIs, uh, the graphics programming APIs, I should say, um, as they come in. So. You know, there's some things you can also look at here. There's a nice guide on the GitHub for migrating to version uh, three here. Um, so there will be some, you know, automated tools and some different things that you can try if you do have a very large source code base with SDL2 code and you're moving that forward. I suspect many folks who are watching this series, if you're uh, just learning how to work with some things, there'll be a few maybe function name changes, but for the most part, um, you know, things remain uh, relatively stable and you can still sort of use this series um, as needed here. Um, so just a few things that kind of came to mind here, you know, there's some nice stuff uh, with, you know, setting relative mouse motion here for uh, SDL3 um, for, you know, moving your mouse around um, and be able to work with floating point uh, values for your mouse coordinates for the pixel sizes, which is going to be very nice for uh, one of the next things I want to talk about for uh, high DPI uh, displays here. So they've put a lot of care into, um, you know, working with higher resolution monitors. So again, it's going to sort of make sense to be using the SDL3 API to do that in a more uniform way without having to make lots of major uh, changes to your code base. There will be, you know, reasonable functions here set up for that. Some other general things that are going to be coming to version uh, SDL three, let's go ahead and see if we can look at the, uh, milestones here, um, is that, um, and actually it's probably easier to just kind of talk through it a little bit. You can see some of these things that is searching for like the thread safety, uh, render and some of these things, um, that are going to be important long-term, but, uh, the, the 2d API, since there's a 3d API that's coming, um, isn't going away. So again, there'll be sort of this minimal layer, uh, as well for building 2d games, which is, you know, perfectly reasonable. Um, and then the 3d, uh, layer on top of it, supporting things like Vulcan metal and so on that will exist as well. So really excited about that. Um, and what I can say, you know, you should probably watch the hopefully the the game developer conference talk will be uh, freely available on youtube at some point um but uh you know as far as getting a 3d uh graphics um environment set up with sdl uh three you know they showed a nice example of sort of the vulcan example where it took you know a thousand lines or so of boilerplate and so on to get things set up versus sdl3 which took you know about 150 lines or so to get set up so that was a really nice example of just um you know, to show the 
kind of uh, thought and the work that's going into this API. And for a lot of folks, that's going to really meet their need. And then when you need to dive into the lower level stuff, as SDL is often used, that'll still exist here. And I'm looking forward to covering that in this series. So just want to give you a little bit of an update on that. We'll still continue talking about uh, other SDL things in the meantime that will be useful. Uh, but with SDL 3 coming out uh, soon, I think it's very exciting. Uh, and it might even be worth checking out you know, on the GitHub if you want a little bit of a head start to build from source and so on. So you can check some of the videos in this series as far as that if you're going to start migrating or maybe starting a new larger project and want to start using SDL 3, that might not be a bad idea to actually think about. All right, folks, with that said, hope you enjoyed this little update here. So just wanted to tell you about a few of the things that I think are exciting coming to SDL. Um, and we'll look forward to those and learning about those later on in the series. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video.